But yeah, next thing we're going to be checking out is the Devil Wears Prada Plagues. This is their two... So two this is their 2007 album. Never heard a single thing off of this, of course. I've only heard one album by them. Uh, we checked out the act not too long ago, like a month ago, maybe two months ago. I checked out the act, and I really enjoyed the album. I really liked it a lot. And the only other project I've heard stuff from is Color Decay. I've only heard a little bit of it. And I, it was very different from the act. I mean, like, super different from the act. So I'm going to assume that Plagues is a lot different from the act as well just going backwards uh but yeah i have no idea what to expect from this album art looks insane that looks pretty cool uh but yeah let's just get into this goats on a boat just some insane fucking song titles some minecraft ambience. whoa okay Way different vibe than System of a Down. <laughs> this is so different from the fuck. That synth was sick as hell. Oh my god, this is so 2007. That 808 breakdown. The bass drop. Motionless and White's first album, kinda. Oh shit. What's up, Buddha? Oh my god, the bass is fucking going crazy. This is really nostalgic, just immediately. This reminds me of a lot of stuff that I got into like a really long time ago, some of the first metal core I did. That MySpace core era. Reminded me of a lot of bands that I really, oh, that I really love from this era. Like, but they're like blending together. Old Architects, Old Green Horizon, Old Motion, This White. The vocals, man. From Oregon. Motion this what Fucking high screams, the high price screams. Reminds me of Abigail Williams.
That slaps. No, no, Helm, this is gonna be the shit that you hate. Like, actually, the stuff you despise. I know it. I am absolutely loving this so far. I have a feeling this is going to end up being my favorite uh, Devil Wears Prada album. Is this the same vocalist? Insanely nostalgic, even though I've never heard this. It is the same vocalist, he just changed his uh, technique a lot. Love all the reverb with the synth, beautiful. Synth just makes it so uplifting and bright. Like, I wish I found this back in like seventh, eighth grade when I was discovering metalcore. Because I love the blood by uh, Mice and Men. I still listen to that album a lot. This would have fit in right with it. If this, if this was a new album, no one would like it. It's just the fact that it's nostalgic as fuck. But I still really like it. Like, I didn't listen to any of this, like, when it came out. Um, but I listened to a lot of stuff like this later on in middle school. So it's just reminded me of that. But I really like the vibe of it. I really like the lyrics too. You, yeah, you're too old for this. I was five when this came out. I already know what the music videos look like. Abandoned warehouse, out in the forest somewhere. 
Lots of crab. Lots of crab stance. I'm sorry, I love this. <laughs> I, tr I actually think this is my favorite stuff I've heard from you so far. And I really like the act. I liked a lot about this album. Objectively, the act is probably better, right? This is just making me really happy. This is giving me all that dopamine. Never heard it, you know I like Hope's Fall. You know it. Okay, that was the album we were going to check out today, but I switched it for uh, Toxicity. We're going to check out Common Courtesy on Monday. Someone donated for it.
Love the old breakdown formula. Yeah, song slaps. I loved all the electronic components on this one. Fucking glitchy. is going on. Oh yeah, you said the transitions messed up. I think that one messed up too. whole thing in my no 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 i have this whole album in my my everything playlist but i've never heard it before where was i fuck it's so annoying i literally pressed it once for no reason did it start to play The electronics and the uh, song titles are the only things that are like screaming my space era. Because the rest of this album, if you take those things out, it's fucking heavy as hell. Really good drums and guitar. And the 808 breakdowns, obviously. Why, 
love the atmosphere. Wow. That means you had fun hating on them, Helm. <laughs> that was a good time. This sounds massive, I love the fucking atmosphere. I'm loving this, man. I put this up there with like Suicide Season from Wind of the Horizon, um, Old Motionless in White, Old of Mice and Men. But it's much more like beautiful. Like, this is really pretty stuff. Like with the synth and the guitar, all the reverb on the vocals, the melodic parts. Gotta be one of the best uh, MySpace era metalcore bands albums. Yeah, Suicide Season's way heavier. There's like a lot more deathcore elements, but the electronics, the synth. Very similar. Okay, in my head, I'm just imagining the transitions working properly. messed up on this one. That is beautiful.
I was locked into the song and because that actually fucking snapped me out of it. Giving this one a like already, just for that section. That was incredible. Reptar King of the Ozone is one of the funniest fucking song titles I've ever seen. I don't know why, that's so fucking funny. of a song called Deathcore, fuck, I don't remember. Wow, this one's emo. I just see the scene hair. This one's the wow. This one's the most. It's got this deathcore thing going on, but that chorus was so fucking uh, MySpace era. Way better here. On a second time. They proved me wrong. Disrespect your surroundings. Yeah, they were RAR XDing. Lots of RAR XD. 
Yeah, I like that one a lot. The first time I heard the chorus, I didn't. I wasn't too into it, but the second time, way better. Oh shit. This one went straight into it. Why is that hit so hard, man? I love all the little math core uh, influence that can hear. Fucking menacing breakdown here. Transforming into mice. Ooh, this might be one of my favorites. Some like math core architects vibes kind of came in there. Oh, the end this. Oh, shit. Heavy and every, and every, and it just got heavier and heavier and heavier. 
probably the heaviest thing that was ever made. Progressively seek out heavier shit. What's that sound I hear? 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 like really beautiful and like big then it got really heavy and now we're getting piano lots of melodic stuff really good conclusion and the drums got nice i think this is uh this is my favorite devil wars prada album i've heard so far between the act and plagues, I like plagues more. Objectively, the act is probably better, but dude, this is like one of the heaviest um, MySpace era, MySpace core so, uh, albums that I've heard. I think that the metalcoreness of it um, wasn't like super ahead of its time, but it was kind of ahead of its time, just a little bit, by like a year or two. Um, at least from what I've heard. I'm sure like 2006 probably had some stuff like this as well. But um, damn, that was a lot heavier than I thought. The breakdowns were insane. Uh, I liked every element of it. I liked the synth. There was only like one or two parts of songs that I thought the synth sounded really dated. But overall, um, I think it worked really well for the atmosphere, really well. Um, with the electronic glitchiness and everything. I loved all the reverb on the vocals. The production's really good. Um, I like how, like, uplifting it sounds. Um, dude, yeah, and it reminded me of a lot of bands that I really loved when I started to get into metalcore. So, yeah, that was just a really nostalgic um, album. Uh, I'll have to listen to their new one in full. I think a lot of people really liked Color Decay. But I've only... I know I've heard the first two songs, but I don't remember them. I gave the, these two likes. I don't think I've heard past them, though. Um, I just started watching a Drew Fortune video on that album, and I stopped kind of halfway through it. Um, so I've kind of heard that, but damn, this album is definitely the most different. Like, the act, I could still tell it was the same vocalist. Now, you don't have to publicly say it, Helm, but we, we'll all just know in the back of our minds. Because I, I could still hear some, like, 90s metalcore stuff going on in there. Really old stuff. M mixing with that synthy emo scene 
RAR XD stuff, but it, it, there was less RAR XD scene shit in this than I thought there was going to be. Uh, this was just genuinely a very heavy album. Same with, like, Bring Me the Horizon. Um, it's way heavier than a lot of people expect it to be. Like, the really old stuff, especially Count Your Blessings. Um... Yeah, his his vocals sounded great on this, like his high screams, but the low screams I could hear the how unstable they were. I could hear his voice, um like I could just I could hear it. Um But he he's a great vocalist. Really good vocalist, really good singer. Uh but anyway, next thing we're gonna be checking out is 